Hello there, welcome to the garden. Come with me, if you will, for a very quick and easy garden task. This garden bed feels to me as though it is drying out a little faster than some of my others. And all I wanna do is add some organic matter to the top. I'm not gonna dig it in. This garden method I'll be employing is called chop and drop. After getting some of these green leaves chopped up into to the bed, I'm just going to come grab some of our dried leaves, dried mulberry leaves in the fall. I ran them through the grinder, kept our pile. A lot of it went in the garden and the leftovers right there in the pile. I'm just going to cover these, these leaves up a little bit. Anyway. This is one way, among many, to add a little mulch to the bed. Here's a close-up of my garden technique. Um, some of the green matter is underneath these um, brown leaves. And then I'm not going right up against my plants. Here's a strawberry. Here are some beets. I'm not going right up against the stem of my living plants. I'm just kind of going around it. And if I did pile it on a little bit, I want to just kind of scoot it, scoot it away from the plant just a little bit. We're having a beautiful gray day out here and the rain is starting to come down. So I'm going to do my work a little bit more, see if I can get this garden bed finished and go in inside and enjoy the rainy day from in there. This bed is all nicely mulched now and the rain's coming down so it should get nice and damp. And it ought to be able to retain some of that moisture so it's not such a dry bed and then maybe these beets will spring up a little bit better. Being in the garden in the light rain is absolutely delightful. I've come inside now to hopefully answer a couple of questions I can anticipate maybe people have regarding mulching their garden. Um, here where we are where there's uh, very little rain that top layer of soil in the garden bed in our desert gardens is getting hit by the sun many hours all day every day and then that top layer just is getting very dry and so one of the things we can do with mulching is add a top layer of broken down organic matter sometimes a little bit of green matter um, and that will hold and retain water better than that top layer of soil in the garden bed. That was my primary use in using it today. It's also a weed suppressant when you're adding a, a bit of a layer on top of your garden bed. If, if you have any weed seeds in there, then you're closing them out from seeing the light and sprouting. So that's another benefit. I was very light with my use of green matter. Um, anything green that's breaking down in the garden bed can potentially add a bit of heat. Not so much with being laid on top though. So I'm not too concerned with the amount of green I added to the top of the bed. Um, and then the rest of the matter I used was dry uh, leaves broken down and that brown matter won't heat up your bed and it's already decomposed so it's not going to sit there decomposing on, <clears throat> on your bed. Some decomposition happening in the bed is not a bad thing really. So if you come across a weed while you're weeding your garden, if it hasn't gone to seed, if it doesn't have a flower on top, you can just pluck that out of the ground and just lay it right there on top of your garden bed and let that decompose. So little bits of decomposing green in our garden bed doesn't hurt anything and it can actually help. Don't go out searching for green matter to add to the top of your garden bed. That's just what I had on hand. So what do people use as mulch? As you saw, I used a little bit of green lilac branches from my garden. I've also in the past used cilantro and other clippings. There's 
chop and drop right on top of the garden bed. And then brown matter <clears throat> in the leaves. Some people use wood chips. I'm not a huge fan of wood chips, so I don't use that. A great way to go, really honestly, is compost. If you have compost and add that to the top of your garden bed, that's, that's a good way to go. As far as application goes, I didn't go very deep. Uh, that might have been an inch of mulch on top of the bed. Also while applying, I avoided the new plants. I if I got the compost right on it, I scooted it off. So I think that covers the purpose of mulch and what materials you can use for mulch. Hope you're having a happy time in your garden.